So today I'm here with two masters of the woodwind section and here with me is Ronald introducing this really impressive range of woodwind instruments. So where do we start? This is Hu Lu Si. Okay. Unlike uh, other instrument that is made of bamboo, this one is from another material. And this instrument belongs to China uh, mountainous minority tribes. Oh, wow. And they play it uh, as their uh, pastime here. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. This one is called Pa Wu. It's a brother instrument of the Hulu Si. It sounds slightly more mellow and uh, festival in the mountainous area, host by the minority tribes. Besides singing folk songs, they play Hulu Si, play Pa Wu. So actually, people use it as a social tool. <laughs> to show girls, lah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very beautiful instrument. Some people prefer a more subtle culture. So this may be their preference. I believe uh, people will uh, find solace from playing this kind of instrument. <laughs> I was also very intrigued by these. What are these? I see a bone and... Is that jade? Yes, yes. My uh, teacher was an old master and was invited to visit the excavation sites. And there, th he actually discovered uh, some relic uh, made from bone, bone mm. flutes. But this material is uh, not available in the market. After a long period in search for the material, I finally get one in the Malaysia, uh, Malay Kampong. So I make into my own uh, bone flute. Yeah. So what this animal is, is it? Uh, this is uh, a kampong chicken. Yeah. yeah, this is very sharp and shrill. This one produces very, uh, a very sorrowful sound. That is a very beautiful, delicate yes, piece yes. that yeah. you just played. I'm really mm -hmm. impressed. <laughs> uh, it's all improvisation. <laughs> okay! This is the Shen family. And we have the traditional Shen and then the soprano Shen. Mm -hmm. And then larger in size, and which is lower in range, is the alto Shen and then the uh, bass Shen. Mm. Yeah, the big boss. Yeah. Okay. So why is this in particular called the traditional Shen? Because you can see the appearance of the instrument is more raw. The, the soprano Shen or the alto or the bass got some metal elements on it, but this is all uh, bamboo. Okay, mm. the wrists are also made by metal, oh, but the sound coming out is more raw. We mainly use it when do, playing some traditional pieces, so we apply this instrument in those compositions. So basically, the the mechanism is that when you the air flows in, okay, then to a certain pipe, then that individual pipe will come out by blocking the holes or maybe pressing the keys for, for the other types of shun, yeah. I see. So for the soprano shun, uh, its advantage is that it's wider in range. It can play all the chromatic notes, but the traditional only have uh, 21 notes, and then this one got 38 notes. Oh! You can still see some bamboos here, mm. but the metal pipes added to enhance the whole volume of the instrument so that it sounds clearly in a very big orchestra. So what kind of techniques do you use? Do you use your tongue to... Yeah. Okay, and then we have the hu se. Yeah, it's like the tremolo in the, on the strings mm -hmm. instrument, yeah. In the traditional shen, there are some certain traditional techniques that we can use. It's a unique uh, technique that only can play on the traditional shun. I see. Yeah. They're all the same kind of instrument, but they have different techniques for different ones. Yep. 
So how about these ones? When lower the sound, it needs to be longer. We can find some maybe low, uh, longer bamboo, but it cannot bend. So they use metal to replace the bamboo. <laughs> Main function of the shen in the orchestra is always to mix up all the instruments together to blend into the orchestra. See, you've been in Singapore for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound so much. I'm definitely going to use it in my composition. Do you mind recording a couple of samples with me? <laughs> <laughs> sure, no problem.